What's up everybody, John from Old Reading Farm here. Thank you for joining us. In today's video, I'm going to turn this pile of wood scraps into a beautiful alpaca breakfast bar. As you can see, and if you watched our last video, uh, we have made a chute or a passage in between our two alpaca pastures so that now all the girls can come over here. And our goal is to get everybody over here so that we can seed in the other pasture. Before we do that, we need to have a way to feed them. And we have just these little over the fence feeders, which actually don't work on the woven wire fence. So I'm just basically gonna make some slats so you can see over here, that's where we hang our feeders currently, which is just like our little catch pen there. So I'm gonna make these uh, little wooden things that have uh, six by six posts and I have some top cut scraps and see if I can make it happen. Let's get to work. All right, so in the interest of doing this as quickly as possible, I stacked up all my posts. And so they're basically gonna be 32 inches tall, which doesn't look like very much, but you know, I was checking where we have them, where we have our current feeders, and 32 inches is about where they'll be. Maybe I'll make it 36. Ah. Yeah, I'll make it 36. So I'm gonna measure to 36 and then I'm just gonna use my chainsaw to cut through all four so that they get to be uh, basically the same length. And we'll go from there. So now you can see the basic layout of what these are going to be. Really, really straightforward. <laughs> Oops. So basically it's just going to be a post and a beam, and we can hang those feeders off the beam. And I have these, I got these little offcuts from uh, when we built the chicken village that I will use to make sure that the feet are nice and sturdy. You'll see, I'll make them real nice. keeping an eye on me it's Susie uh, we just we got her recently wow look at my hair so we got Susie recently she's old uh, she's one of our oldest alpacas and I think her owners were pretty sure that she was kind of close to uh, the end um, so, I mean, hopefully she'll be with us for a while. She came with the, the Gilmore Girls, the secondary Vermont Five, so, you know. So this is our little path. You can see, so one of the main drivers for the girls still staying on the other side of the pasture is the hay feeder. So I wanted to get the hay feeder over here. Before I got the hay feeder over here, I need the fence feeder things to be done so that's what we're doing but so what I'm really excited about this and I talked about it in the other video where we first set this up is we can finally get these rocks out of here so you can see like right where Linda's sitting there's rocks and then there's a big line of rocks right there and it makes it really hard to corral them because then it's something that we need to jump over then it's something that they need to jump over so I'm excited to be able to get in here with the tractor and we'll take all these rocks out. There's another, you can see sort of in the background, there's like a raised garden bed that they made out of rocks. And I don't know if we want to talk about taking some of these trees down. Probably not. Um, but yeah, so once everybody's over there, we can seed in here. You can see when we first bought this place, this was all leaves. Um, 
And so now, now that it's actually, you know, there's alpacas here, you can see that they have gotten rid of all the leaves here down on the ground and you can see it's just dirt. Um, so it's a perfect opportunity for us to seed. We have orchard grass from Kentucky that's mixed with some fescue, so hopefully that grows. And you can see over here, um, we didn't mow over here once. We just let them eat it down. But like now, there's like nothing going on here. And there's a lot of moss and stuff, so I think we're gonna be good. But I, I wanna get to seeding quickly because I'm worried about the weather. The weather's gonna get cold real soon. Not that it's not cold now, but eventually we're gonna get to the point where seeds aren't gonna germinate, which uh, would be bad. So anyway, so back over here, so like I said, you know, so this is our, our path we made with cattle panels. Um, so we would basically just close one of them. I actually wasn't thinking, oh no, it'll be perfect. Because this, this swings shut this way. So I could just push this like that way and then just take the tractor right in there and out. It'll be nice. So anyway, let me show you what I got. So if this isn't the simplest thing that you've ever seen in your entire life, <laughs> it's literally, you know, three pieces of wood and, all right, so five pieces of wood. But anyway, I mean, you know, all we needed to do is to have these feeders hook over it and for it to not tip over, which it won't. Um, and this way we can move them around. And like, if we have, because we talked about having the feeders on the other side of the house. Wow, don't ignore that mess over there. Uh, we talked about feeders being on the other side of the house um, so that when people first pull in the driveway, that's what they see. So with these, we'll be able to move them around. And I got a little trick, maybe I'll see if I can spice them up a little bit. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna make the rest of them and I'll check back in. All right, so I actually just found that the two that I just set up, uh, the board on there is a little bit too wide to fit. So this one is really close. It's like just, just too much. This guy is way too much, so you can see. So it's just not quite, uh, or it's too, the board is too wide. So I'm gonna take my chainsaw and see if I can slim it down a little bit. Because why not, right? Here we go. All right, so, you know, these are like 10 feet long, but, you know, some of them only hold four or so feeders, because we got to keep them well spaced so that the alpacas don't fight with each other. And by the way, this is the next day, <laughs> so I'm here on my lunch break. So, so far I have enough for seven feeders, which is about a third of the pack, because we have... 20 over here including Felix because we got the three boys over there so I have a couple more longer pieces of wood that I'm gonna use and hopefully that'll be it because that'll that'll use up the uh, the legs that I have um, but so maybe I'll do that and then maybe I'll do my little uh, my little designy thing on it we'll see um, all right, so I'm gonna do two more and I will check back in Okay So I now have four look at my hair <laughs> How's that looking Jimmy Neutron ish, okay great, so I now have four of these stands So I'm missing just one, but I don't really feel like doing it right now. So I have three on the fence So that's 20. That's everybody's feeders this should be good. I can make more of these. It's really easy. And I'm also thinking we can use these as like stockade panels 
So if we're trying to get them to go a certain way, maybe I can just add another top cut down there so it acts, almost, acts like a fence panel. And these are pretty light, so we'll be able to move them around pretty easy. So I think that'll be a, a secondary good thing. Because um, like over here right now we don't have a catch pen, so it's hard to get them. So while they're over here, you know, in the morning, maybe if we have herd health day, we can set them up in kind of a, an L shape so we can get them all in there and then block them off. Um, so I got one more thing to do to these, and it's a secret. I'll be right back. All right, so that last thing is fire. I'm gonna show Shugibon these babies. Let's get to it. I just shoshugi bond these for first time I've ever really shoshugi bond anything. But so I guess you burn it, and that makes it more pro uh, less prone to you know getting messed up in the rain. So hopefully that works. I mean, we'll see. Um, now you may be saying to yourself, John, uh, using a blowtorch in front of a large pile of sawdust is not a good idea, and that is true. So do as I say, not as I do. Also disclaimer. Do not try what I'm about to attempt in this video. It's very dangerous. And do not play with fire. All that. All right, so we are now done. And I think these look pretty good. Uh, they'll be functional. And now I'll be able to move on to the next thing, which is getting everybody over here. And now they can stay over here. I can work on getting the rocks out of the other pasture. Then we can seed, we can go grass. All I gotta do is build another hay feeder. next video. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Please give us a like, leave us a comment, let us know what you think, and as always, please subscribe. If you want to see the video where we first brought home our new alpacas, you can check it out right here, and I will catch you next time. We put out new videos on Mondays and Fridays. We go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, so I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks a lot.